Alright, so I just watched the Butler Bulldogs defeat the Temple Owls 74-69. Uh, to uh, This game started off really bad for Butler. Uh, they were very cold shooting the ball. A lot of it had to do with there was just too many jump shots going on for Butler and they were giving up easy buckets. Uh, the defense wasn't doing a very good job to start the game. Uh, it took them a while to adjust. Uh, but offensively, it was, it was pitiful. They got down by 12, um, called timeout, and uh, they got Keelan Martin into the game. Keelan Martin kind of sparked the offense with a few buckets, and it got things going. Kellen Dunham was just cold today. Um, he had a cold start. He was 5 for 20 for the game, so 25% from the field. And Temple came out with a great game plan. Uh, they put a stop to Tyler Lewis. Tyler Lewis, like I said in previous videos, he, the offense starts with him. And they know what kind of threat he is, how he creates so many scoring opportunities with his passing. Well, they shut him out. He didn't have a single assist in this game. So I don't know if he's ever gone a game without an assist, period, whether it be at Butler or in North Carolina State throughout his college career, but they really took care of him. Um, they were having their uh, ball handlers try to drive at him. Um, I assume that's to get him off the floor, pick up some fouls, and like I said, he creates the offense for Butler. But Butler had to figure out other ways to get points in this game. Um, they did have four guys score in double figures. Tyler Lewis ended up with 16 points. He came alive in the second half with a couple of three-point buckets. He was 8 for 8 from the free throw line, got a layup as well. Roosevelt Jones had 12 points before fouling out with just a couple minutes to go. Kellen Dunham was 16 points. Uh, four of his points came from the free throw line. He was able to go in, drive for a couple of layups, got a three-pointer as well. Three or pointer or two of them, actually. Uh, Andrew Travis, he had 13 points. Um, the offense just seemed to go so much better, I thought, when they were trying to use him as the focal point. Uh, whenever they would get the ball down to him, he would try to back his way up to the bucket and get some points, either that or get to the foul line. And I like that offense better. It settles the team down and uh, puts the pressure on the opposing team's defense. And Andrew Travis is a pretty, pretty good ball handler for a guy his size. He's got some nifty moves. So I think we need to do that more. Sometimes we were just settling for jump shots, and uh, that was what was hurting us. We could have had this game, really, we could have taken – big time control of this game and won by double digits but I felt like we got away from our game plan we got away from doing what our strengths were and we started settling for jump shots so uh, see 11 rebounds in this game for Roosevelt Jones he was huge on the boards um, and uh, Andrew Travis had 10 rebounds as well Keelan Martin coming off the bench with nine rebounds and eight points and uh, Four blocks from Tyler Weidman, that really helped, especially late in the game, some of the blocks that he had. Butler had uh, more offensive rebounds in this game, 19-17. to 17. A lot of those offensive rebounds kept us alive, and it was getting the, the, the foul line that won us the game. Uh, we were 21-25, of 25, while Temple was 8-9, of 9, so good free throw shooting by both sides, but Butler's ability to get to the foul line, uh, especially towards the end of the game, is what allowed us to win the game, you know, with a win margin at five points. Now, Temple did hit a three-pointer at the buzzer, but still, 21 made free throws to eight. That definitely makes up for the five points or the eight points at the end of the game. Um, yeah, Butler shot 36.4% uh, from the game, Temple 38%. So... Not great shooting, uh, def decent defenses, but I think both teams just kind of got lazy offensively at times, settling for jump shots, not the higher percentage, percentage shots down the lane. So Butler moves to 3-0, and and our next game is either against Miami or Utah, who is ranked in the championship game of the Puerto Rico tip-off on Sunday evening, 7.30 on ESPN2. So hopefully, I don't really care who we play, I just want to win, even though I've got a friend that's a Miami fan. But uh, I just want to get a win and win this tournament and really help our season progress and take a week off before we play Southern Illinois Edwardsville. So, like I said, Butler wins this game over the Temple Owls 74-69, to our formal, former one-year Atlantic 10 rivals. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and you have a good one.